Hey YouTube, AI Addict here. Welcome to another FSD beta video. Today we are on 10.10 .10 in downtown San Jose for another downtown stress test. I'm so sorry you guys haven't seen us here in a while. It's been maybe a month since we made a video. Uh, I've just been very busy, you know, with work. Looks like I actually put the wrong navigation in. Turn left onto oh Avenue. So it, the, the map is actually taking us the way I don't want to go. So I'm going to wait for it to update. Now we're here. I'm going to reactivate FSD and we'll hopefully get an update. And it takes me down the road. So it looks like Tesla is purposely avoiding the route I always take right here on the left. That's very interesting. Uh, it, it shows two creatively longer ways to avoid the specific left turn for some reason. The one where it sometimes often struggles. Mm hmm. That's very interesting. I wonder if that was uh, if that was just organic or if that was like on purpose. Let's get all this stuff. Okay, coming to a hard break here. I think that this thing's at the stop sign. That's really bizarre. Going kind of wide, but it makes a turn. Interesting. As I was saying, if uh, if anyone knows anything about inverters, controllers, batteries, or just EV motors, I'm looking for some consultants, you know, here in our community who can help me on a project I'm working on for 2022 for this uh, channel. We're doing an EV conversion. Email us at aiaddictofficial at gmail.com for more information. I would love to get in contact with some of you guys out there in our community. Um, right now, we're trying to turn left across a busy road. I It is a bit clear from our left, but... Now it's not going to be. Here comes a truck and it's creeping forward and I don't like this. Holy, f okay. Oh, well. Okay, now it is clear to go and nope, never mind. It, oh, wow, we backed up. Did you see that? Going backwards. And here we go. Made the left hand turn. And gain the right hand lane because our destination is here on the right. All right, so we've added a new destination. Let's see how the car does. We actually have to turn left at this light up here. Is it gonna slow down to let us make this left? It is gonna slow down. It is signaling that that car is blue, seeing that's now waiting for it. And here it does, it does get us all the way over. So that, that was actually pretty good. That was good and it made the light. Oh, oh. Look at, but this is, no, it found it. It found it, but it almost took us the wrong way. <laughs> right so we can go right at this light here. Is it just gonna run this light? Holy shit, it just ran that red light. All right, so they took out the uh, rolling stop signs, but they did a rolling right turn on red. Yeah, wow. I guess. I'll report that. <laughs> Jesus. Now turn left onto South Alberton Boulevard. A little tricky there on that turn, but maybe that's got us here. Turn right onto West San Fernando Street. Changing lanes. Oh, 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 fuck. oh, oh shit. Shit, we we hit that. We actually hit it. We hit it. Wow, we were so close on the quarter panel. I was, I think John oh, was shit. I hit that. that too. I hit that for a fact. <laughs> I hit the brakes to the floor. Yeah, wow, I can't believe the car didn't stop. So yeah, so we did hit the pylon. You can see there's marks right here on the bottom of my bumper, as well a couple marks right up here, as you guys can see. All right, YouTube, it is confirmed. I have hit that pylon. Um, it's the first for me to have actually hit an object on FSD. As we, as you can see, we put a new navigation in. So let's try and see how it does. There's two cars on our left um, driving next to us. Ooh, a little, little strong there coming out, but that's okay. I would have waited for both in the past if we're starting to roll forward. Doing a good job though, keeping us in our lanes, not going in the bus taxi pull off area over there. Up here in about three blocks, we will have a right-hand turn across some railroad tracks, which you guys have seen in previous iterations. Um, I'll run it right now so you can see it. And it tried to go down the actual railroad track on the right there. We've seen various improvements in this turn. Let's see how it does on this iteration. Oh, it's coming to a hard slowdown because of this person that's right here in the crosswalk. So it's being conservative, which is nice. 
Oh, what's this? What's this? Where is it taking us? So there's the right-hand turn across the railroad tracks. There are pedestrians in it. And it did a decent job, actually. It did a really good job there. And it's getting us out of the bus lane. And our, nav our navigation had us right here on the right. So that's actually pretty perfect. So now we're back. Um, new navigation. We're going to make a complete U-turn, as you can see on the nav navigation, going across two more railroad track paths. Let's see how the car does. It did a good job just going around everyone who was in the bus lane that was double parked. It is green for us, but red for the railroad tracks. For anyone on YouTube who's curious about what those signs mean. And this lane is closed right here. Does a good job of going around it. Now turn right onto South First Street. So this is a keep clear because there's a railroad. The trolley has to be able to go right here. And it's doing a good job of keeping clear for the first time. And this is the first time I'm seeing it keep clear right here. It's also no turn on red and it's patiently waiting for the light, which is cool. I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that the right, far right turn lane is closed. Yeah, here it goes. It gets us in the far right lane. Goes to make the right hand turn. Oh, and I'm going to no. stop it. Oh, yep. Yep. That's very unfortunate. I'm going to report that. All right, right here we got some people on some lime scooters in front of the car in front of us, slowing down traffic a bit. The car is trying to go in the right turn lane to go around the slow car, but realized that it can't. So it did fix itself, which was kind of nice. Not sure why it tried in the first place, though. In 500 feet, turn right onto east. So now it looks like we're going to be the people that will see these. So it shows them as walking instead of on a lime scooter, which is interesting. Those little scooters are probably hard to see and identify. It's coming to a full stop here, and it's always because of the wall far ago. So right, I'm right here on the side, so I'm gonna hit the accelerator to let it go through. Now turn Puts its right blinker on. on. East San Fernando Street. So we are allowed to turn right on right here. Oh, but it goes green. And there are pedestrians who are crossing. It's doing a good job at patiently waiting for them. Now it proceeds. Oh God, Yay. going towards those pylons again. I really don't like that. They're here again, it's going towards the pylons. Like we're not parking. <laughs> So this right here is a no right on red. So let's see how it handles it. All right, the light has turned green. And there it goes, it did it. Perfect, and it got us to our destination. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us on 10.10 .10 right here in downtown San Jose for our stress test. Um, I cannot believe that it actually hit a pylon and um, it's I'm just just that I'm just, in shock man It's come so close so many times and I never thought it would actually happen But um, but yeah, um, like I said if you know anything about inverters controllers batteries EV motors Feel free to hit us up on AI addict official at gmail link down in the description So that way you can help us out on future projects if you want and uh, make sure to join us on patreon link down in the description So you can help support us um, you know, do these te stress tests and for your entertainment purposes. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you and goodbye.